MasterGuitar.ca. We're going to be learning uh, Across the Universe by the Beatles today. Hope you can see everything here well, and uh, if you have any questions, you can call or you can email me at jonathan.carl.odonnell with no apostrophe at gmail.com. Uh, the intro starts out with both fingers. I like to use these, uh, my two middle fingers, on the frets here, and we'll zoom right in so you can see. Uh, we're putting our middle finger on the second fret of the G string and our ring finger on the second fret of the high E and down here I'm plucking um, like on the tab here you can see the tab on the side so I'm plucking the G and the high E string with the after that I hit the D string open so and then I slide right up to here and I play on the middle finger I switch from this way to that so I did the middle finger on the 11th fret of the G string and my first finger on the 10th fret of the high E and we're hitting that D string open again after so it starts like this that's the first part and then it goes nines so you hit on the same strings you keep your fingers on top and we hit a nine on the G string and a nine on the high E and then a nine or a seven on the G string and a seven on the high E and then we hit um, five with your first finger on the high E, uh, six with your second finger on the G string, and then you put your third finger down to make a D minor chord. Move it this way so you can see. So that is on the the um, seventh fret of the B string. So I'll play it again real slow. That's how the first part goes, and we'll zoom out here for a second. And after that, we're playing these notes. Um, it's almost like an F sharp minor chord. So that is on the top string two four four two two two. Going down so two four four two two two. Firing the second fret and playing an E minor chord. So that's our F sharp F sharp minor chord, and it goes. Um, but what we're gonna do is leave off the top chord, and I'm just gonna barely hardly hit hit this A1, this A string, and I'm hitting down on here. So actually we're gonna turn the camera a different way here. So it starts out like this. And I'm going on and off with my pinky finger on the G string fourth fret. I'm strumming the whole thing. And then I'm going to the A chord. So I'm putting Playing an A chord with all my, my finger pressing down the second fret of the D, G, and B strings. So I'm pressing down all those and I'm alternating when I do strums with this third finger on the fourth fret of the G string. So I'm going. Not strumming the top string, but the rest of them. And that's how the intro goes. And the rest is just strumming. And uh, I'll show you the strumming pattern here. It goes. I'm just basically just feeling for the chords. That's the thing about strum patterns, they're kind of hard to teach. But um, I'll do my best on them, as you can see. And it starts out with D, so D chord. Um, Words are flowing. And then B minor, so it's a second fret bar chord with the A minor position on it. And then it goes up, moves up from A minor to E minor to this F sharp minor again. E minor 7 is just the first finger on the second fret of the A string. They slither while they pass, they slip away. A. Firing these three fingers, these three chords again with one string. Or these three strings again with one finger. Across the universe. And that's A7. So what I'm playing here is the second, first, or middle finger on the second fret of the B string and first finger on the second fret of the D string. Across the universe. And then D. Of sorrow, waves of joy are drifting through my open mind, possessing and... Then it goes to G minor, which is a third fret E minor bar chord, just one fret up from your F sharp minor. Then caressing me. That's all it is. And if you have any questions on the chords, you can check the chord diagrams, or we'll have the chord charts out soon so you can see all the 
different positions pictorially. Um, That's your D chord. And then oh. And here what we're doing, instead of A7, we're instead of A7, you can see like this, we're playing A7 suspended four, which is your first finger on the second fret of the D string, and your third finger on the third fret of the B string. Then it goes back to A7. Nothing's gonna change my world. Not G, so nothing's gonna change my world. Nothing's gonna change my world. Nothing's gonna change my world. And those patterns are repeated out through the whole song. If you need any help on any certain chords or certain things, or you have questions, so you can comment on this video, or you can email me at jonathan.carl.odonnell at, at gmail.com. And uh, please visit us at masterguitar.ca. Thank you very much.